Okay, but this, I'm back once again. We are now at the NVIDIA booth, and we're looking at Integra K1. This is on a reference tablet, so it's not actually a tablet that's going to be sold. And it's just to kind of show you the whole power regards to the K1 processor. So let's take a quick look at it. So as you can see here, now I've got a gamepad as well that I can actually control it with. We can actually kind of move around on the screen and you kind of just see kind of the level of detail they're actually getting in this. Now you can actually, as you can see, he smiles, he frowns, he moves around. You can flip him around, see the back of his head, zoom in, zoom out. And when you look at it like that, it looks very creepy. You can zoom into his eyes and you can, see, you can actually see the eyes movement. It's a very, very creepy experience. It actually looks like a real person. And then you can zoom back out. Change kind of like the background, it's kind of give you a bit of a different look on there as well. If I go to reference number two and number three, you see it kind of changes the background on there. And again, you can move them around, put them from side to side, or you can actually control them with the control pad. And actually, uh, move it around again. And as you can see, it kind of tracks it, it's kind of looking at you. It's again, it is eerily kind of very, very creepy. But at the same time, this is kind of showing off the power that they have got going on with the K1 processor which I'm hoping if it does make, does finally make it to market in certain devices, I hope it's a lot more hackable uh, for the Android community than it has been in the past, because let's be honest, in the past, it has been pretty atrocious for the Tegra devices in terms of the modability for Android. But yeah, this is a quick video of regards to the reference tablet running the Nvidia Tegra K1. What do you reckon? It looks pretty impressive, doesn't it, on there, I must say. Let's see what, some, let's see what these buttons do. Do they do anything? Not really. Anyway, people, that's it. Thanks for watching, and you'll see me in my next video. Cheers, everyone.